Welcome back to Dan the Limelight 2. We're gonna be doing whatever the fuck we were doing before we stopped last time. Magnet Man stage. And then after that, who knows where we'll go? You do, if you were looking at the screen at all. But it, more than important, is what the fuck is that? It's clever placement of enemies, is what it is, my friends. But instead of worrying about killing that duck, we're gonna be airmanning these guys over this way. If you were clever, you've already figured out what we're doing. Or how to do it, I don't know. But just move over a little bit. Yeah, good call. Good, good call. Alright, fucking forget about the, even looking at the duck. Just let's move over here. I'm just being careful because I don't want the very tip of that, that tornado to, to break that fu- WHAT?! Whatever. Okay. Move that guy in the hole. Go down here. Get the fuck out of here, Matt. I like Airman because if he's anywhere near anything with a bottomless pit, he's just the best. And I like how they know you're going to be using Airman, so they put a little extra space so that mech can shoot you. But now, you're set to go. Awesome. We got one more to get, and then we're all done. Airman's really overpowered, and I feel kind of guilty even using him. But not guilty enough to not use him. Because he's just that good. And you can kind of tell they restrained themselves when they were designing the stages they were eventually going to do additional stuff with. The Snake Man, Metal Man, Top Man, and then I forget who else. And I wanted to show you this little bit, is Wood Man. He's staying pretty close to that, uh, that suction thing, but oh, he can't get sucked up into it. He's too heavy. It, it, that's really upsetting for him, but Quick Man's real light, so he, he'll be fine, he'll be fine. And the, the, uh, the additional one was Hard Man, sorry. I, I was thinking about uh, which ones they redesigned, but you can kind of tell. They, they were a little conservative with how they did it, so they could have extra stuff to put in here. And it's pretty cool. I like this shit a lot. They're reusing all these designs, and it, it, Magnet Man stuff is all about, you know, getting sucked into things. Makes sense, if you think about it. It's pretty clever. And who do we got? Elect Man. And who better to fight Elect Man than a fast robot with little projectiles? Just the fast part, I guess, is really what I was getting at. And Jesus, he's really wrecking Elect Man. I gotta say, though, this Elect Man, he's, he's pretty basic, and I like that, because Jesus. Maybe this Elect Man is based on the one from Dan the Limelight 1 and not the one from Mega Man 4. Uh, I don't know. I, I like this boss fight, though. It's pretty simple. But he like man. He ain't going down. He's still gonna be fucking resting in this stage. I like it. I would say Elect Man is probably one of the smarter robots. You can probably avoid death somehow. But Jesus. And Quick Man, I'll never get sick of playing as Quick Man. I'm sorry if you get sick of me playing as him. But I I'm gonna try to at least explain to you that Quick Man is the best, unless you're being dumb and not just jumping down the hole. He's just good. What else can I say? Move on, and... Oh, fuck these things. God, oh man. See, Quick Man moves a little too fast, you know? You just gotta think about it. And what is all this shit? Flash Man, you know what to do. I was hoping I wouldn't freeze one of those things while the electricity was going, but I don't believe you can do that. And I guess I'll quick man my way over there. Jesus! I didn't know those were there. That was close. Who knows what would have happened. I would have gotten tossed in a pit. Fuck that, I'm just gonna freeze time again. Jeez. You gotta be careful. I think they expected you to do the, the time stopping. And maybe it was supposed to run out a little before that, but Jesus, that was scary. Yeah, whatever. I'll just take some damage. I'm okay with that. This ain't no damageless whatever's. Who cares? We got other time, and now there's garbage. I don't really mind this section. It's okay. It reminds me of a section in Mega Man and Base in the King Castle where there was garbage everywhere and there were spikes at the bottom. This is. It's okay, but it's not really obscuring enough. I wish there was extra stuff. Like, I don't know. I wouldn't mind if there were maybe some spikes. Like, maybe spikes you'd see earlier, but... I don't know. I... <sighs> Whatever. 
I, I, I just think there should be a little extra stuff obscured. Not just, I mean, I don't know what else they could do besides enemies, but it, it'd be nice. The real, I guess though this stage isn't great for it because there really aren't that many enemies that you can hide that well. Like you can see the pieces of those screws coming in, you can see those electronic whatever these things. You can see the top one, so you can base where the bottom one is based on where the top one is. And I don't know. I, I kind of want to get this E tank. I guess Quick Man will do it. But you can't get it, so you gotta use one of your E-Tanks you've already got. They give you plenty of E-Tanks, considering I've gotten... I've, I've used a bunch on accident, just because I was being clumsy, and... Whatever. So we, got, we got enough, it doesn't really make a difference. I don't know who will try, I guess... Fat Woodman will try it. And Electman is charging himself up at the top. Looking like he's throwing Sparkman's attacks. Maybe they just wanted to use Electman twice because they're like, well, let's just use Sparkman's attack. Whatever, it doesn't matter. I guess this is his weakness. I'm not positive. I I really couldn't tell you. I, it doesn't feel like it though. Well, honestly, Woodman is kind of one of the worst. So I'm I'm just gonna think who might even hit him and do good damage. Eh, it's not Air Man. Quick Man, I don't think could reach him, so let's try Metal Man. No, I guess. I guess it's supposed to be Wood Man. But Quick Man... I wanted to hope Quick Man could even reach him, but I guess not. It's fucking lame. Quick Man should be able to reach every character, you know? He's so good and powerful. That... Oh, I didn't even notice. The, uh, the lefternmost section has turned into electric floor, so don't go over there, but it's pretty okay. You're, you should be fine until then. It, it, it just kind of goes on because I'm just being lazy and not really watching the fight very carefully. But now you're pretty much confined to the middle, but that's okay. With I mean, the leaf shield absorbs these shots, so you're pretty much safe the whole time. I mean, unless you let it completely run out of leaves. So I don't know, I don't know if it's a good idea to completely reset the leaf shield just by hitting attack. I don't know if maybe you should be able to only use it once and then it takes all of your leaf shield. You have to wait for your leaf shield to be depleted. I don't know. I look, I'm a fucking idiot. I don't know how these fucking things work. I don't who cares. It's it's on the to top, man. And then on to whatever... I don't know what happens at the end of Mega Man games, so we'll figure it out together. And unfortunately, since Woodman can't climb ladders, we're gonna have to switch to somebody else, anybody else. Not him. Of course we're gonna use Quick Man. Quick Man is the only one you can use to climb ladders efficiently. He does it the best. Fucking enough Quick Man, though, because I just want to try somebody else. I just feel like... I, I, I Enough with the goddamn Quick Guy. But enough with the heat man, it feels like, because I'm just not really doing him right. He's not that easy to use if you're clumsy and used to using quick man. And let's see if we can even reach that thing. Yes, we can. It was a good choice to use heat man. That was clever of me. But he still can't climb ladders. Fuck. Whatever. Metal man, just get up there. Idiot. I like this thing. It, it's, it's nice looking. It fires bunch of spark bullets so just be careful watch out for where they're going climb where you need to whatever climb where you need to go I like they gave you these little platforms here they, they probably don't need to give them to you since you've got the space in between the ladders but it's it's nice that they do I appreciate it I wasn't sure if that would hit you unless you jumped over so I just wanted to play it safe Let's head on over. We're about done with the stage. As long as every character belongs... Wait, none of these characters belong here. None of them! Like, only the screws. I, maybe the frogs. Fucking... The stage doesn't make any goddamn sense. Where's all the spinning aspects? River Row, there's no spinners! Where are they? This is a top base stage! And nothing's spinning! I don't get it. It's fucking ridiculous. I'm sick of this level. 
Not enough spins. And if this isn't a spinning base boss, I'm gonna be pissed. Probably like Iceman or something. Of course it's Iceman. He didn't spin for shit. Now, who knows what'll work on him. Guess not that... Oh, well, Metal Blades look to do okay. And I guess there is a spinning aspect in the sense that they've got these little platforms in the background flying around. That makes sense. It's clever. I'm glad that Iceman doesn't completely kill you in three shots or else I'd be very disappointed in myself. Yeah, whatever. I'm... I... Just, I don't care. Like, I get I get what you're supposed to do. Go on the ladder and then avoid... I don't care. I don't care at all. Fuck that. I'm far too busy. And... I'm not gonna bother wasting time with these top guys. And if you kill one of their... Uh, if you destroy one of their stupid little tops while time is frozen, you can just walk past it because it's still technically dead. It's this Fist of the North Star style. It's dead before it's dead. You know what I mean? Whatever. Nah, you get it. God, you prick. There's... No, shit. Stupid little spiders. I thought I had them, and I just really didn't. Kind of embarrassing. Really embarrassing, to be honest with you. Like, let's look at the facts. The spiders, pretty shit enemies. But, here we are. That's life. I don't know what to tell- Jesus Christ almighty. This is just upsetting. Like, I'm so bad at getting those spiders out of my face. So I'm just gonna quick this way. Get that health. And just keep using quick man, because he doesn't leave me bad, you know? He knows what he's doing. He's a fast jumper. Fucking- Ow! That's why you don't use quick man in the vicinity of spikes. It's just a shitty idea. Because he dies so fast. It's like he wants to die. He just doesn't know how to do anything slow. Shit. Okay, get the fuck out of there. Okay, enough enough of this tomfoolery. I'm using somebody else. And... If we froze them right, we could have used the bottom set as like a platform, but fuck that. I'm, see, I used to be good at these games, then I just was like, whatever, who cares? It's it's not because it's a bad game or I don't like it, it's just because I'm, I'm lazy, man. I don't know what to tell you. I just don't care about anything. Especially you. Alright. And what's this? They've got numbers on them. Why? They blow up! Fuck. That's the... That's impossible. That, that, what is this? Fucking... Grenade Man stage? I don't think so. What a load of shit. Zero stars. Try it again. No, I like this gimmick. It's cool. It's it's inventive use of the uh, these top platforms. I like it. And I'm glad we stayed up there, or else we would have landed on the spikes. Now we get this E-Tank to replace the one I fucking dumbly used. So I don't know how to use any goddamn E-Tanks. And get rid of that thing. We're not wasting any time with it. I'm glad, I'm glad I've got Flashman out, because I'm going to need him in a second. I mean, I always need Flashman, he's one of the best. Basically, I'm just being lazy, I'm like, this is a Mega Man game, I need a character that shoots bullets. And this is cool, like, randomly generated numbers on the tops, that's clever. And then some of them say zero, so then what does that mean? That means you can't even fucking use them. So what do we do? Ow, fuck that one up. Ow, why, do, what was my decision making? Where the fuck was my head? That was goddamn dumb. Oh, what a fucking fool I am. Ugh. Okay, we're gonna try that again. Sorry about that. That was that was upsetting. But we're not that far back, so whatever. Shit, we'll just get the fuck. Why do I keep going back to Quick Man? He's only led me wrong. Okay, back to Flash Man. Go! There you go. Since those were all zeros, I mean, what else are you gonna do? But you gotta wait for the turn of the flash to turn off. Get up here. And got it! Hooray! Now that's all of them. But they don't do anything. Whatever. I don't know why, but I wanna try. I wanted to try Quick Man again. I, I don't know. 
j he's cool, man. I don't know what else to say. I like using him. I'm sorry. Is he any good against Bomb Man? But I get it, man. Bomb Man and platforms, but Fire beat Bomb Man last time, and it does again. That's pretty nifty. It's use of details that I appreciate. It's nice stuff. And this Bomb Man is a lot less of a complete asshole than he was in the first one. Because Bomb Man is a sort of a dick, you know? But he's all done. I, if I really wanted to end it cool, I would have, like, dashed into him. But I'm really bad at timing that dash. So fuck that. We're all done, though. Heat Man saved the day again. And he blazes up. As is usual. Heat Man just tends to do that. Let's save it. We got all of our we got all of our stuff. And now Dr. Wily is in a crafty looking castle. I think I meant capsule. I don't know. I'm, he's in a crafty looking castle as well, but I, I was more preferential to the capsule. Regardless, I don't know. I don't know. I just like st the stuff he's got on that like the little bone tower is funny so dumb. Like, I'm not saying that, like, the, the game designers for Mega Man 3 did this, not the people that made Day in the Limelight 2. Alright. Oh, it, you, f you finished the things that we were talking about. Nifty. And what do we get to do with it? Alright. It's fine. Well, we'll get the weapon energy then. Things that require energy, what a load of shit. Oh shit, Wily's invading! Wait, oh. Holy shit, we can use the Wily saucer! 10 out of 10! Game of the year!